Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat Theo and today I have another tour video for you of a house that I'm flipping. Well, not technically flipping, but we'll get into that a little bit later. This is the middle part of it. It's not the 100% before because I've already did a little bit of work, which I will show you now. But I'm going to take you along with another journey of before and after. This is the before. Let's go. All right, so here is the porch of this house. And so because of the weather, it's almost December now. It's gonna be very cold. We're not gonna be touching the paint this year until spring because soon it's gonna be pretty much snowing and you do not want guys painting the house when it's really, really cold. Okay, let's take a look. If you take a look at the floors, this is the main reason why I bought the home. These floors are natural wood floors. They are absolutely stunning. I love the color and I mean, this character you cannot buy new in new homes. This home has been here since before 1890. So this is original flooring that I would like to keep when I plan to. This is the living room and dining room. So it is kind of a mess in here. I'm gonna put my mask on because it's a lot of dust in the kitchen um, where we were working. I'm gonna show you right now the kitchen where most of the work is gonna be happening. All right, here is the palace. This is where all of the great things are gonna be happening, cooking and all the love happens right here. You can see that the place is completely destroyed. Um, we took out all the cabinets. It's actually not that dusty in here. We took out all the cabinets to reveal that there is lath and plaster. You can see the electrical work is very shoddy. Whoever did it, I don't know what they were doing. These are all cabinets, which I will show you before pictures of the kitchen was nothing nice at all. You can see this is lath and plaster, which is the original structure of the home, which actually is more labor intensive to take out, which is something I'm learning more about. You can see these are the original windows which um, they painted the original wood, this like chocolatey purple color. Um, yeah, I don't know. The owner of this home used to be an investor and in my opinion, I think was a slumlord. But anyways, we're not gonna talk about that. And I think they just got free paint from either Sherwin Williams or some of these places that give out free paint. They mix all the colors together and get what you get and they use it all over the house. So um, that's how we got this color and the yellow. Here's the window over here. This one's broken. We have actually a couple of the windows that are, were broken when we got this house. We're gonna be fixing everything. If you look at the ceiling too, you can see it's all lath and plaster. Over here doesn't have any lath. This was completely taken out already. Um, you can see the uh, light hanging right now from the ceiling, all busted up. <laughs> it's a treat. So we're going to just take a peek downstairs. We're not going to go all the way downstairs just because the floor is covered with junk. Um, but you can come over here and take a look. So pretty much just imagine that there is a outside door that goes out that way. And then down there, there's a couple more rooms and a bathroom that I do not plan to do much with maybe paint, maybe some flooring, but that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to show you the other parts of the house that you might be interested in. Okay, this is the primary bedroom, I think. It's off the living room. It's kind of small, but it also has these beautiful hardwood floors throughout the home that I personally just love. It has a little closet. We have already painted. He's finishing the touches, but it's kind of like a gray green. I really like it. Over here is the bathroom. So this bathroom, it's not much going on here, but it's a full bath. It's a full bath. It has the original tile work on it that they kept in pretty good condition, in my opinion. There's a window, great for ventilation. There's a small sink right over here. Now I'm gonna take you to where I think is the nursery. If you are familiar with old Victorian homes or older homes, maybe you can let me know what this little flex space is, but you go into here, which is in between another room. So this room you go upstairs and this room is out into the living room and bathroom. So I think this would be great used as a nursery for an infant, you know, something like that. Then we go upstairs to the third bedroom. There is no lights, so just uh, bear with me. There was carpet in here. We tore out all the carpet already, which was a upgrade. Careful for the ceiling. 
You probably can't see me very well because of the lighting. This, I think, would make a really great kid's space. It's it's very long, it's kind of like attic. It, it used to be an attic that they finished and put carpet in, and I think this would make a really great kid's space. It's very large for the size. There was actually a hole here, I'll show you. When I bought this, these were giant holes in this wall, and the tenants that were living here were throwing trash in the wall. Like So when I got this home, it was just full of trash, just tons of garbage. We have to clean all that out. I don't know how people live their life. Closet space. This is all gonna be new flooring, so I can't wait to show you guys that when it's finished. Alrighty, so this is the before. I will see you guys in a few short weeks. See the after. Bye. back to my channel today I have another after for you guys so it's not completely after because we're still doing some cleaning and some little touch-ups some little repairs but it's like I would say 80% done and we have some people moving in we're gonna continue to do renovations as they move in but at least you can see the majority I'm super excited so let's get into the after let's go if you remember the before none of the trim was done it's still winter so we weren't able to really paint the whole house but i did get a day that was warm enough to touch up the trim so now the trim is white we painted and sanded the porch floor and we also painted the lattice to just make a little bit of a difference okay so we painted this when i say we i mean i i painted this door <laughs> yellow um, to me a yellow bright yellow door is really welcoming it makes you smile yellow is a very happy color very energetic so if you care to know the color is by sharon williams it's called confident yellow all right let's check out the house all right welcome in come on in everyone this is the living room i don't know if you remember how the floors were before sorry about the echo there was a lot of stains because of the cat urine and pets that's one thing you will have happened to you if you allow pets in your houses is sometimes when you have natural wood floors the urine can stain the floors but i think the floors turned out really good we sanded them down we restained them and we polyurethane them there's some fresh paint on the wall. It's actually the wrong color, but we were running out of time. So I just said, you know, we'll deal with it in a year. But yeah, we changed out some of the fixtures, not a lot of them. This living room brings in a lot of natural light with all the windows. So that was one thing I loved about this house. All right, let's check out the bedrooms. All right, this is going into the first bedroom on the main floor. I really love this room. The reason I love this room is because the floors in this room was actually pretty decent. I think it has a lot of character on the floor. So we did all new paint. Um, around we patched the walls there was like a bunch of holes the ceiling was just horrible like it was pretty much falling out and we did a new ceiling patched the walls it was yeah all fresh paint so this was a pretty quick turnaround um, they still have some things to do with the windows and you know light bulbs and stuff but overall it's like almost done all right now going into the main level bathroom i tried to bring in some character back into the home using this historical looking tile it was on hgtv and i got the inspiration you've seen it all over the internet and i think it turned out pretty cool it's it's nice and then we put in a new vanity mirror and a vanity light this bathroom comes with a lot of light as well with a window and we refinished the bathroom tub and the tiles because before i think it was pink it might have been yellow i don't remember but it's white now white and bright and clean looking but yeah they still have some cleaning to do but they should be done shortly all right this is the second room i call this the nursery because it goes through to another room so i don't know what this room used to be originally 100 years ago but i think it might have been a nursery all right let's check up the upstairs so the stairs before had carpet on it i ripped out the carpet i took out the staples 
and then we just painted them and put a sealer on it. So in my opinion, it's a lot safer because I don't know about you, but I've slipped downstairs on carpet before, never done it on wood. So this is like the attic space. So you're gonna really hear an echo. There's a lot of light in here, so it might seem dark, but we did all new laminate floors. All of the walls were like really bad. They still, they're still doing a little bit of touch-ups, but there was a lot of water damage and they skim coated the walls and they smoothed them out. All new paint. Here's a closet and that's about it. So I think this space would be great for a couple of kids. This could be a gaming room. This could be a little family room as far as you know, at night, maybe like a secret movie area. So I, I think there's enough space to put two twin beds here and you have your window and a little toy chest box in the end there. All right, let's check out the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is my favorite part of the house. This is the biggest uh, part of the renovation. Okay, this is like a complete transformation. The walls were like yellow and the cabinets were purple and I don't know what they were thinking, but this is how it looks now. Everything has been completely redone. Everything was ripped out. We have new drywall. We have beautiful backsplash that I put in myself. We have the Carrera marble uh, laminate countertop that you can get from Menards or Lowe's. Brand new cabinets with brand new hardware. We have stainless steel appliances that I got from Home Depot, which is great for any renter. We have new can lights for lots and lots of lighting. We even have a separate can light over here. We have a um, brand new faucet and we have these beautiful salvaged shelves. And all we did was sand them down, stain them, and then put epoxies to make it easy to clean when you wipe it down. It doesn't like affect the wood and stuff. This is also a brand new stainless steel appliance. Um, great for any renter. And then the floor, I got a steal on these floors. Okay. I went to Habitat for Humanity. I think every state has one in the United States and it's a herringbone style. I love single herringbone. It's one of my favorite designs for tile. So yeah, super excited about that. This kitchen was so dark. I just wanted bright and airy, so it's a little bit white, but I think it turned out pretty cool. All right, let's go down to the basement. They're still cleaning up, but we did do some laminate on the stairs. It was a little bit slippery, so we added some safety strips to make it safer so nobody falls down the stairs, and we added safety rails. So this is the utility basement plus living quarters, second living quarters. This is like for your teens of the family. So this is the laundry room. I am gonna provide a stackable washer and dryer. It just hasn't come in yet, but there are the hookups. All right, you go through the hallway and then you're gonna get to the second bathroom of the house. This was already here. I didn't do much except the tile and a new toilet and some paint because it was yellow before. So it's the same tile as upstairs. We have a transition piece. Yeah, so pretty much a simple bathroom. It's for the second part of the house. It's yeah, additional bathrooms always nice to have. All right, this is coming into the next room. So this is the third room of the house. It has a little window to bring in some light. We have new carpet, new paint. This was a very quick switcheroo. And then we put a light um, there. Okay, moving on to the next room. We have the next room. This room does have a closet. So this is considered a bedroom here. So we have our big egress window here with the screen so you could open it and let fresh air in in the summer, you know? Paint, carpet, trim, it was a pretty simple thing. I remember when I first bought this house, I wasn't going to do this downstairs area because I was like, oh, it's not that bad. But then I was like, you know what, let's just do it. We're already doing the dang thing. All right, this is the utility area of the house. It's just uh, the utility, so you can store your stuff here, bikes, all that fun stuff. We painted the floors, which really made a huge difference. And then the foundation, they painted yellow, so we just painted it a what is this gray? So it just is little things like that you can do to make a rental feel a little bit more refreshed and new. And then we have all new electrical, brand new electrical box, brand new electrical everything, everything to code to Omaha, updated plumbing also to code with permits. And yeah, everything is updated the way it should be. All right, so that is the progress after. Thanks so much for watching this video with me. If you liked this video and wanna see more like this, go ahead and leave me a big thumbs up, a comment down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.
and the tenants who lived here was throwing but I'm gonna show you guys the after god it's bright my forehead is very bright today and let me turn on the lights yeah anyways god all this shit back here oh my god let me wait for this car to go by it's kind of loud sanded and painted the porch yeah it's by I tried to bring some character back into the home. Oh shoot, like she might I'm not hit my mic. We re <laughs> I think every city in the US has one, maybe not every city, sorry, every state. Oh god, my hair is probably like smacking my mic this entire time. I think that's it. It's kinda warm in here. My ovaries are killing me. 